I'm just so over crying. There's nothing you cry. I can cry if I want to cry. Those are my feelings. It's good to see you again. Missed this version of you. Now you try to piss me off. Why you do this kind of stuff? Uh, Aswelu, sit down. No, I can't believe he just stepped to Kalani like that. These two got in a huge argument after Kalani got real and told Aswelu that they need more romance in their relationship. Like I don't feel like we have any super loving feelings with each other. She also told him that he needs to step it up in the bedroom. I think we could use help with sex. Okay. But surprisingly, it wasn't any of those things that caused Aswelu to get defensive. Instead, it was something so minor. It wasn't anything to get that upset over. Like the whole thing is just crazy. It's just psychotic. We're gonna talk about what exactly sent Aswelu launching at his wife and my takeaway from all of this. Plus, Andre had his first day at work with Libby's family and it was everything you probably expected. Dude, you're saying that you're uh... Giving this property to me, no? No. Per usual, Andre was acting entitled, and then Libby's sister stormed in, accusing him of trying to take her job. He's shady as period. And Charlie, Charlie was ready to fight at any given moment. You're gonna I'm do gonna what I'm gonna to do, or okay. you're not gonna work with okay. I'm not gonna do it. Y'all go ahead and take a deep breath, because trust me. Wait, hold on a second. No, shut up. We're gonna need it for this one. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Malicia. There were some men acting like children during this episode. Let's go ahead and start with Kalani and Aswelu's fight. Kicking it off from the top. I need to like step up my homemaking game. Kalani took her sister Kalini furniture shopping for this new house that she is really thinking about buying with Aswelu. Because according to him, moving out of her parents' house will make him act better. While they were at the store, Kalani revealed to her sister that they need a house with three rooms. So Aswelu could have a game room where he can also sleep. So you guys generally sleep in different rooms? Yeah. He uh, basically comes in the room when, you know, he wants to have sex and that's it. To make matters worse, Kalani revealed that there is no romance in her relationship. Like there's nothing, we don't, it feels like I live with a friend. And what she is getting from Aswelu isn't even good. Roommate with benefits. Are they even benefits? Not really, like there's nothing. We don't go out on dates, we don't have alone time. I'm like constantly thinking of him and thinking of what he would like or what he would want and that's never reciprocated at all. It needs to be. You're like, no, you can't just walk in and blink me and then walk back out and go to sleep. <laughs> well, I think it is partly my fault because he, he wasn't taught to do anything. Wait, 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 wait. How is that your fault? You didn't raise him. Kalani went on to say that Aswelu has no idea what real love is because he didn't see it from his parents. I feel this need to nurture him and teach him things because he is the father of my kids. I have no idea how many times I've used a dude's upbringing to justify why they treated me like crap. That used to be my go-to excuse. Now, while the way someone was brought up can certainly affect their adult relationships, it's no excuse for being an asshole. Pardon my language, but I'm just saying, there comes a moment in everyone's life where you can choose to be different than what you saw growing up. She deserves so much more. And Kalani can't make that choice for Aswelu. He has to do that. So I feel this need to nurture him and teach him things because he is the father of my kids. But then that's where my relationship that's romantic dies. Cause you can't have a romantic relationship with someone that you're mommying. You're asking literally for the bare minimum from your husband. You wanna feel loved and I think at the very least, that's what you should feel. I am so glad she has her sister because let's be real, not everyone on this show has someone to talk sense into them. And I get where she's coming from. Yes, we as women are nurturers, but sometimes our desire to nurture can make us blind to the truth. 
We end up walking around sacrificing ourselves because we think someone needs us. When the truth is, Asuelu survived before Kalani came into his life, and God willing, he will continue to survive if she chooses to leave. Talking with my sister made me realize that there's a lot that me and Oswalu need to talk about and a lot that we need to fix. I know we've been getting along better, but like we're kind of in a really horrible place in our marriage. Once Kalani made it home, she sat down to talk with Oswalu. She brought up how they need to work on romance and their sex life. Do you know what a sex toy is? No. What is that? But as I mentioned earlier, that wasn't what set him off. It was when Kalani started talking about how he could be more considerate, and she innocently used her brother as an example. I bring you a pizza. You do bring me pizza yeah. sometimes. Why didn't you why did mention that? My brother all, me... also brings me food sometimes, too. So we're not talking about your brother. Yeah, but I'm saying, I think your definition of romance and love is different than my definition. You just say, oh, my brother bring you food. I'm not talking about your brother bring you food. Well, someone was triggered. If we talk about you and me and talk about Brad, that's so annoying. I'm that's no, what you I... need to work on how you can talk to me. Asuelu went from zero to ten in a matter of seconds. Oh, my brother, bring me food. We're not talking about your brother at all. Kalani explained that this is the perfect example of how their relationship goes. We're really good and we're having fun and then the littlest thing can set him off and it's usually the dumbest thing. What I still can't believe is how he just stepped to her like she was a man on the street. I missed this version of you. Now you try to piss me off. Why you do this kind of stuff? To be honest, at first, I thought the brother was just the tipping point. And deep down, Aswelu was really just mad because Kalani told the world his sex is... Kind of is like, meh. Anyways. But then common sense kicked in. And just watching, you can tell that it's much deeper than that. I think it's even deeper than what Aswelu claims. I think it's not fair because Kalani tells me what she wants and I express my feelings to how I feel and she start crying. So she not listen what's my point and what I trying to say. Well, it's kind of hard to listen to someone who's cursing you out. After this, Kalani said that if this is who Aswelu really is, she doesn't see them buying a house together, nor does she see them in a relationship in the future. It sounds like she's at her breaking point, but I also feel like we've been here with these two before, so time will tell. Wait a minute, who said you were listing the property? I never told you you were gonna get the listing on this you property. I you're gonna get the whole thing now. All right, let's quickly touch on Andre's explosive fight with Elizabeth's siblings on his first day of work. <laughs> As we know, Andre is coming off from being a stay-at-home dad. Uh, oh, baby, that's sweet. Oh, bye, boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> the baby was like, yes, I'm staying with mommy. She told her daddy bye twice. Oh, bye, boy. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Daddy. Oh, boy, you okay? She's like, get out of here. See ya. <laughs> After Andre left the house, he met up with Libby's dad to go check out a home that they're flipping. Now, Chuck, he has good intentions. He's helping Andre because he wants to help his daughter, which is understandable. But at the same time, he's also causing drama because he's tiptoeing around his other kids who really don't want Andre joining the team. What the hell are you doing here? Why am I not here with you guys, is the question. Dude, I told you I was going to do a walkthrough with No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Hey, look on my butt. No, I heard from Libby. On top of that, here comes Andre, lying on Chuck in front of his face. I guess in an attempt to manipulate the situation and be messy. Dude, you're saying that you're uh, giving this property to me, no? No. I have a contract with my dad in our family business to be his listing agent, and Andre thinks that that's what he's going to be doing. He's shady as period. Following Becky storming in, there was a back and forth between her, Charlie, and Andre for a minute. She was pissed, thinking that Andre is trying to take her job. No, no, this is not happening. And Charlie was upset that Andre thinks he can just jump the ranks and not start off doing work as a handyman. Take your truck, rent a trailer, and get all the out of here. I'm not gonna go my whole life. That's not even a big discussion. Then, then you have no value. I don't know you have no value here. But anyway, the fact is, Nakhul, hold on a second. No, shut up. You 
to be here no, anymore. But, it was no, I need to be here. You said you're not going to do any handyman work. And if you're not, then why are you here? Because you're not going to be the ruler. I'm not going to be a handyman for nobody. So what's your involvement So what's your involvement here? Because I have the same license as you do. And so what? I'm a realtor too. So what? Because if it's going to come up to some... Andre's ego causes so much unnecessary drama in his life and in the lives of those around him. I mean, who told him he was too good for hard work? The best of the best have worked the hardest. I'm glad we aired this out. Chuck eventually reeled things back in, but his daughter left him with one stark warning. You need to not like worry about like the listing because that's way down the road. But dad, I'm telling you, if you give him this listing, there are going to be major problems. There already are major problems. They're right there. Well, next week, it looks like Andre is going to have way more serious things to worry about than becoming a real estate king. Immigration officers have access to records in foreign countries. Did you ever commit any violation of any laws anywhere in the world? No. Are you sure? If you hide any information, you will be put in deportation. Tell the truth, Andre. All right, 90 Day Fans fam. To make sure you stay updated on all the latest news coming out the 90 Day Universe, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.